What's up everybody and welcome back to the Ultimate FIFA series episode number 16 and probably the final midweek episode because what I'm going to try to do this week is instead of putting Ultimate FIFA series up on a Sunday and going for the final gym badge, I'm going to try and get that up on Saturday and on Sunday have the final episode of the series, the squad builder showdown against Itani. That is the plan at least, we'll see how well that goes because as I'm sure you guys noticed with the last gym badge. Bit of an issue with the edit and it went up. I was away at my grandma's birthday, so I couldn't get it sorted and it went up on Monday instead. So if you missed that because it didn't go up at the regular time, go back and check it out. It was team takedown. It was really good fun. You guys have put a lot of good... Well, you guys noticed actually that I asked if it was Spanish twice in one of the questions, but we got lucky and still got it. But other than that, you guys seem to really enjoy it and I enjoyed recording it and you guys seem to appreciate that because I was actually being sneaky and working out the stuff properly and asking the questions properly and we had a good time and we did team takedown. As you can see, spoilers, if you missed it, I don't know why you clicked on this episode and you've missed one anyway, because we've got the gym badge, we won, we won 1-0. We've got the team takedown one, we've got the seven minute squads one and we've got the guess who won. So we've got 300k in the bag and obviously this weekend we'll be going for the final gym badge to hopefully get ourselves 400k going into the squad of the show and at the end now however we've got some stuff to do from the last midweek episode so if you take a look at the squad we've got our premier league one chilling there and i asked you guys in the last episode in midweek we did a ratings upgrade thing and we finished with a 2-0 win but it was a rage quit pretty early on in the game i think so i asked you guys should i get double points for a rage quit i didn't specify it at the start of the video in the rules but i asked you guys and most of you thought that it was kind of unfair because we probably would have smashed that guy that he rage quit and I didn't get loads of extra points for it. So some of you were saying that maybe you should get three points because 3 nil is what a rage quit counts as, or at least it used to. I don't think it does anymore on division rivals. Other viewers were saying, or most of you guys are saying, give yourself double points. That's what we're going to do. We've got four points, four rating points. I don't know why I'm holding up eight. Four rating points to upgrade our team with and we needed to decide who to spend on. Now, you guys are very, very helpful and put loads of suggestions down in the comment section and it was two of them that were right next to each other that I thought were very, very good idea. Lewis Ricardo said get Andy Robertson a plus three to go to his 86 in form and it's Sanchez give him an 85 by getting him plus one and get Sanchez at 85 in form. Now, pretty good idea. However, underneath that was Thomas Cooper who said instead of going for 84 to 85 Sanchez, go 84 Sanchez to 85 Van Dyke. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Andy Robertson is going to be replaced by the better version of himself. So that will, of course, be inform Andy Robertson. And there's a little sneak peek of some of the other players that we've got there as well. I don't know whether to show you guys all of the stuff for the team. Because this is obviously going to go up midweek, and I'm not going to record the squad of the show until after this has gone live with Vitani. And I don't want him to be able to come and look at this video and see all of my players. So I'll try and avoid actually showing the club. Ignore everything after the bronzes and the untradeables. They were just stuff that was left in my club, and I couldn't get rid of without just quick selling, which seemed like a waste. But these guys are the left backs that I've got to choose from, and obviously you've got budget to spend as well. Now, 86 Andy Robertson is going into the squad. And with this one, to avoid showing Atani all of my players, I'm just going to type in Van Dyke because I know I've already got him. I've already bought him for my club, and he is going to go into the squad there coming in for Sanchez and I mean you can go on that side and get a strong link to Robertson which is very nice for building teams and Socrates gets a strong link to Torreira so options are plenty which is very very good so that is the Premier League team if we jump back to the main screen like I said we've got the last gym badge coming up this weekend we've got the giant badge for squad builder showdown which is the whole aim of this series but before we do that we need to jump over to the wheel cam and spin away. You can see that it's sat on the ratings upgrade. And we've got draft challenge, coin earner, steal a player, bloody, bloody, bloody bar, all of that stuff that you guys know and love. And we've got one final spin. The end of the series, the last spin of the wheel to see what we're gonna be doing. Fingers crossed we get something good. What would I quite like to get? I, I really want pot luck. We haven't had pot, pot luck once yet. I mean, there's a one in seven chance. We're now on episode 16. Obviously, some of them are gym badges and stuff like that but it's crazy that we haven't landed on it so far and i'm kind of trying to tempt fate to give me it but without further ado let's just spin this bad boy come on potluck come on potluck a win equals a tier okay i like it maybe we can make another series completely out of potluck because i just invented that myself and put it on the whiteboard we've got a win equals a tier 
we've just upgraded Andy Roberts in a tier, which is kind of frustrating. But we have just bought 85 Van Dyke, or we've rather, we've just got 85 Van Dyke, and we could possibly get him up to his 88 one. I suppose is the next one, isn't he? That could be pretty sick. We could get Loris up to his Carnival. We could get Martial up to his Inform. We could get Rashford up to his Headliner. I'm not really sure what we do with that one, but that's a pretty sick one. There's quite a few good players knocking around in our team that we could definitely, definitely get some upgrades for. So suppose, I mean, I, I, I say there's definitely, definitely loads. I mean, Loris and Van Dyke from this one. Fernandinho has an inform, that's kind of dead. Richardson's just been upgraded anyway because he's a one to watch and he got another inform, so that's pretty sick. Salah's got his informs and I suppose he's a striker inform and Valencia's informs are a right mid, which is kind of weird. So there's only a couple. And obviously we've got some for the French team as well, but we'll play a game or two. We'll see what's going on. I kind of want to show you guys the club, but at the same time, I don't want to spoil it. Or rather, I don't want to give Atani more help than he deserves. So we'll see about that. But for now, let's just jump into the game and let's just enjoy the final midweek episode. Okay, in we go to the fair. Oh my, what is it with this series? I'm playing absolutely ridiculous teams. Team of the year, Neymar. Prime Moments Petit, Team of the Year Bale, Ronaldo, Want to Watch Cancheo, Team of the Year Van Dyke. This team is ridiculous. Jesus. Okay, okay. And I, I was thinking off camera as well while we were trying to find a game that, as frustrating as it is for me to not, or to rather lose the advantage of Atani not being able to check my channel. I don't know if Atani would do that. I mean, we do call him a massive cheat, so I wouldn't put it past him. But I'm not sure if the the benefit for me in terms of being sneaky in the squad with the showdown outweighs the fact that you guys will never actually see the full completed club. I feel like that kind of goes against the whole point of the series. If at the end, if after this game or after the next game, if we play another one or after the third game, if we play three, if you guys never actually see the finished club and what we can be working towards with squad the showdown and what we're going to need to spend our budget on and stuff, it kind of defeats the whole point of the whole series because you'll never actually see what's there. I mean, I, I suppose in the squabble of the show, and I'll go through and show you guys and talk you through it, why I've decided to do what I've done. But if you guys want to help and maybe design me teams and do it with 300k budget, do it with 400k budget in case we win, it's a bit dead me just being like, well, there's, that's the end of the series in terms of the weekly ones. We'll be back with one final marquee challenge and then we'll be doing the squabbler showdown but you don't actually know what players we can use for the squabbler showdown unless you've been paying ridiculously close attention so i feel like maybe we should do a bit of a club tour and if anything it might even help me like if i show you guys that i've got this andy robertson and then i just go out and buy myself well i showed you that i've got Dan, um luke shaw already chilling in my club and we had a dinner and stuff like that if i then just go out and buy myself I don't know, Mendy or something like that from the budget. It just completely throws the Tony off because he's always going to be writing down the players that are in my club. And if he starts writing them all down, like if he, if he writes Gabriel Jesus and I just go and buy myself Martial, I'm obviously absolutely laughing. And it might you might eventually get out of the habit of writing the ones that I've got in my club because I just keep not picking them. And then we get to the defense and I just pick Van Dyke and Inform Robertson. So there's my games to the mind games to the tr double levels and all sorts of craziness with regards. I think I'm basically what I'm saying. I think I'm just going to show you guys my club and you can have a look and you can help me maybe try and design a final team for what I should be working towards for Squabble the Showdown. We've just been megged, but Valencia has swooped in. Very, very nice. So that's a, that's a lot of waffle for you guys, essentially, as we get into this game. But what I'm trying to get at is I think for your guy... Oh, come on, game. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that again. For your guys' entertainment, it's probably worth the extra level of mind games, even if it will maybe screw me over a little bit in Squabble the Showdown. So I'm going to show you guys the club. Referee, that is disgusting. Richarlison making mincemeat of Cancheo. So we had to hack it. Yeah, he was definitely could have just got the ball if he just ran out of it. I don't know what he's doing. Right, I actually scored on these on my road to glory before, just from whipping it in, which is something I've never done because that usually happens. Okay. Well, in no Socrates, that's not too bad. And here's Richarlison. And he's kicked Finair. Good. Well, okay. That is not what you need when you're playing against the super team. Come on. We've actually been doing alright against this guy, to be honest with you, considering the ridiculousness of his team. But it's been... That is a terrible header. It's been kind of stale. Not too many clear-cut chances, to be honest with you. Alright. It's half-time, and there hasn't really been a chance. 
not uh, even really worth putting. There's been shots, but they're just all blocked or something like that. Not really anything worth putting in the video, to be honest with you. Which is kind of a little bit sad for the last midweek episode. If we could grind out a win against this mega team, it would be a very good sort of end point to finish on because the team is starting to get to kind of crazy levels and the club is kind of starting to get to crazy levels where we can almost do whatever we want. And kind of the fun of this series at the very start was like smashing people with my non-rares and stuff. So it, it's kind of started to... The, the midweek episodes don't mean as much, if that makes sense, because it's all about getting the extra budget now to be able to be sneaky, essentially, with the coins rather than just the players that we've got in our club. Obviously, it's nice to turn Sanchez into Van Dyke and Robertson into Inform Robertson and stuff like that. And it's going to help us in the game at the end. But in terms of getting a full team, it's not massively important. This Robertson is sick, though, by the way. He's absolutely bossing Gareth Bale. That's a good ball to Gabriel Jesus. That should be a goal. That should be a goal. Oh, you're winding me up. How is he? A, how has he just finished that? Or saved that perfectly timed shot? And I can't believe Rui Costa's hit the blink post from there. Come on. Second time's a charm, Gabriel Jesus. Okay, is Alisson. I don't love you because you're doing my nutting. Okay. Mm, we've just megged Neymar and he somehow ended up with the ball anyway. That's obstruction. <laughs> Team of the year, bloody Neymar. Oh, God. Who's that? Marcus Alonso. We should be all right. We should be all right. We're not all right. It's straight up Loris, and he's completely missed it. Good. You are actually... What? What? He's just hoofed that straight up the pitch. Okay. I don't even know what to say. I'm genuinely speechless, which is a, a rare occurrence for me. Okay, there we go. There's one back. A nice little fake shot from Richarlison on the edge of the pitch. I'm in full concentration mode. We got a bit lucky to cut into the box. I may be a bit lucky with that pass as well, to be honest with you. But a good finish from Salah. And that has taken us back to 2-1. If we could complete a nice little comeback, be a good way to round. I mean, we still need two goals because you don't get nothing for a draw. But it'd be a nice way to round off the round off the games of the series. I think he's offside. He is. Oh, that's frustrating. All my boys are absolutely knackered. So we've gone ultra attacking, which is constant pressure. So let's get a few subs on. I'm going to go Martial there. I'm going to throw Rashford on up front. And we will throw Felipe Anderson on at right wing. We're pushing the boat out at this point. It is the 85th minute. I don't think we're going to make the comeback, but we may as well try. Yeah, there it is. That was unfortunately for me, really, a case of just the better team wins, to be honest with you. But it happens. We're not going to let it dampen our spirits at the end of the midweek kind of episodes. He had some chances. He had some shots frustrating ways to concede but as you can see it was pretty even in the chances and stuff like that it was just very difficult to break him down with his mad defense and just ridiculous all-round team to be honest with you so i'm not gonna let it get to me it doesn't particularly matter we've still got an absolutely mental club and as we finished or as we started this game or rather this series with just one game in the very 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 first episode it's fitting i think that we finish it in sort of a parallel. So we started off with all of the rules and then one game and we're going to finish it off with one game and then showing you guys the club and where we have come to. I feel like that's a very good way to finish this off. So, so you guys can see where we're at. You can have a think about the squad of the showdown and I don't have to while we're doing that video constantly show you guys everyone that's in my club and just make that a really, really, really long video. I'm going to show you now. If Tony looks at it, whatever, he's a cheat. If he doesn't, brilliant and it's fine. So that's the way we're going to accept it. This is the Premier League team. However, if I go down to the bench and flick through some of the other Premier League players, we've obviously had Pacta Glories and different stuff like that. And we've bought some players and upgraded some players and things. And players are still chilling in my club. So, other options from the Prem that we have got excluding the bench, which is, of course, got Rashford, Martial, one to watch Philippe Anderson, Edison chilling down there, as well as the sneaky ones for the end, if we, if the FIFA servers will actually work and show me my Premier League players. 
which it won't. Okay, there we go. We finally got it to load. So again, ignore the random loan cards. They've just always been in my club. We've got this Barkley. We've got Tarkovsky, which we packed. We've got Lacazette is obviously from the French team. Jorginho, I'm pretty sure we packed him. We packed this Otamendi. We've obviously just replaced Davison Sanchez, so he's chilling in the club. Same for Robertson. Keita, I believe, did we get out of a pack? Torreira, we've obviously used. Lanzini packed. Dinho, we upgraded to. Oxley Chamberlain. And then just loads of random crap that we packed when we did the Pack to Glory episode. Plus the non rare team that we started with down at the very, very start. And then when it comes to France, we've obviously got 86 Lala, Boutel, over 81 Lala. A ridiculously good French team chilling down here. And obviously, once we get into the non rares, some of the ones that we started the game off and have just packed from random packs that we we're opening as well. So we're looking pretty decent, to be honest with you. We obviously then got the icon in Ruby Costa. And of course, we unlocked the Seydorf and the Berg Camp as well as Prime players. And the Payet we unlocked as a SBC player from the Guess Who. So we're doing pretty decent. And we've obviously as well got the currently 300k, but maybe soon to be 400k with an extra marquee player as well coming into the squad. So I'm going to ask you guys, what would you do? with all of them players that you've just seen, plus 300 or 400k, and maybe an extra marquee player to build a very sneaky team that's unguessable for Squabble the Showdown. That is the challenge to you guys. Maybe pop it in the comments, maybe tweet me pictures of concept squads or something like that, or squads on Footbin or Foothead or something along them lines, if you've got some really, really good ideas. The sneakier, the better. And obviously, one of the players is Team of the Year, Kante. So that is to come in too. So we've got, got the potential for an absolutely mental team. We just need to make it that Atani can't guess it. And I'm thinking to do that. We use the 300 400k to hybrid one side of the team or one end of the team or something like that to make it completely unguessable. And he hasn't even got a clue. The brand new players to the series. But that is the end of, not of the end of the series. We've still got another marquee challenge. And of course, the penultimate or the final episode, rather. Penultimate means second to last, doesn't it? The final episode, which is the scope of the showdown. But I just wanted to... Rounded off nicely, I suppose. We didn't round it off with a win, which was frustrating, but we rounded off with a couple of signings, and I basically just showed you guys the end club and where we've come from them to, or well, that one non-rare team, sorry, we've just got a couple of extra non-rare French players from PAX, to a pretty bloody stacked club, to be honest with you guys. We've done very, very well. Let me know what you think. Let me know your team options down in the comment section or on Twitter or something like that. I'll see you guys soon for the final marquee challenge.